वेलकम इन ए के स्टडी टेन ट्वेंटी फोर एंड टूडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट रिलेशन एंड फंक्शन क्लास ट्वेल्थ टॉपिक वी आर फैमिलियर विद रिलेशन एंड फंक्शन बिकॉज वी हैव स्टडी दिस चैप्टर इन और क्लास इलेवेंथ एंड इन क्लास ट्वेल्थ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ रिलेशन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मेनली वी हैव टू स्टडी अबाउट एम्प्ट रिलेशन यूनिवर्सल रिलेशन रिलेशन एम्प्ट रिलेशन एंड यूनिवर्सल रिलेशन are also known as trivial relations and now we have reflexive relations symmetric relations transitive relations and a relation which is reflexive symmetric as well as transitive is known as equivalence relation first of all we'll discuss about empty relations so a relation from a to b is called empty relation if no element of a is related to b means relation is going from a to b and no element of a is related with b we have to note that in many question there is written in set a or in set b in the place of a to b means if there is written in set a this means simply relation is going from a to a if there is written in set b it means relation is going from b to b but in general we are talking about the relation is from one set to different set means a to b but if in the question you get in set a or in set b then you have to understand that in set a means the relation is from a to a if there is written in set b then you have to understand that the relation is from b to b so let's take an example to understand what is empty relation say we have a set a this is set of boys in a school and now we have given a relation in set a in set a means relation is going from a to a and the definition of the relation is it is a comma b such that a is a sister of b now we know that no boy can be a sister of another boy so in this we have nothing in our relations our relation is empty relation uh, this was an example in which we have a relation which was going from a to a means it was from the same set to the same set but in general suppose we are taking another example suppose we have a set a that contains 1 and 2 and another set b that contains 3 and 4 and now we have a relation that is defined as it is going from a to b and the definition of the relation is a comma b such that a is equal to b where a belongs to a and b belongs to b now we know that first element that is a it is belonging to a and second element belonging to b and we know that 1 is not equal to 3 1 is not equal to 4 2 is not equal to 3 and 2 is not equal to 4 means there is no element in our set a which is equal to the element of set b so this is also an example of empty relation i hope you have understand now what is empty relation now we'll discuss about universal relations universal relation if a relation is from a to b and every element of a is related to every element of b then the relation is known as universal relation we can understand this concept with the help of an example that is 
वी हैव गिवन टू सेट्स फर्स्ट सेट इज ए विच कंटेन्स वन एंड टू सेकेंड सेट इज बी विच कंटेन्स थ्री एंड फोर एंड रिलेशन इज फ्रॉम ए टू बी एंड द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द रिलेशन इज इट कंटेन्स ए एंड बी सच दैट ए प्लस बी इज ऑलवेज ग्रेटर देन जीरो वेर ए बिलोंग्स टू सेट ए एंड बी बिलोंग्स टू सेट बी सो नाउ वी विल सी वट कैन कम इन और रिलेशन If I take वन and थ्री वन इज फ्रॉम ए एंड थ्री इज फ्रॉम बी देन सम ऑफ वन एंड थ्री इज फोर विच इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो सेम एज वन एंड फोर सम इज फाइव फोर प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू फाइव विच इज ऑल्सो ग्रेटर देन जीरो सो दिस कैन कम इन टू द रिलेशन सेम एज टू एंड थ्री बिकॉज फर्स्ट वी हैव टू टेक फ्रॉम ए एंड सेकेंड वी हैव टू टेक फ्रॉम दी बी सो वील टेक टू एंड थ्री टू एंड थ्री सम ऑफ टू एंड थ्री इज फाइव सो इट इज ऑल्सो ग्रेटर देन जीरो सेम एज टू एंड फोर विच इज ऑल्सो ग्रेट सम ऑफ विच इज ऑल्सो ग्रेटर देन जीरो नाउ वी कैन सी दैट फर्स्ट एलिमेंट ऑफ सेट ए दैट इज वन is related with both the elements 3 and 4 1 is related with 3 and 1 is related with 4 this is 4 same as 2 is related with 3 and 2 is related with 4 so we can say every element of this set a is somehow related with the every element of set b so it is an example of universal relation now we'll discuss about reflexive relation Suppose we have given a relation that goes from A to B, and if for every A that belongs to A, there exists A comma A that is belonging to relation, then our relation will be reflexive. Means, if any element that is present in the starting set A, then there should be A A in the relation. For example, suppose we have a set A. That is one, two, and three, and relation is going from A to A means relation is in set A. In set A means relation is going from one, two, three, two, one, two, and three. And in the relation, we have given it contains one, one, two, two. One two, three three, and two three. This is given in the question. Now we have to check that whether the relation is reflexive or not. We know that A contains one. A that is one two and three. It is starting set and one belongs to A. One belongs to A. Then there should be. One one because if a belongs to a then there should be a same as if one belongs to a then there should be one one in the relation. So we can see one one is present in our relation. Same as we have two in our a so there should be two two in the relation. We can see two two is present in our relation. Same as we have three that is present in a or three is belong belonging to a. So there should be three three in our relation. We can see three three is present in our relation. So the relation R is an example of reflexive relation. Now we will discuss about symmetric relations. Suppose a relation that goes from a to b. And if a one comma a two belongs to the relation, then there should be, or it implies that a two comma a one will also be in our relation. If this condition satisfied, then we can say the relation is symmetric. Otherwise, we will say it is not a symmetric relation. Now I am giving just a quick view of the types of the relations. we can understand these all with the help of some questions that we will do later but first of all i am just giving only one example for each because 
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वॉन्ट टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक आइडिया ऑफ द टाइप्स ऑफ द रिलेशन एंड आफ्टर दैट वी कैन गो फॉर मोर क्वेश्चन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई जस्ट टेक एन एग्जाम्पल टू अंडरस्टैंड वट इज सिमेट्रिक रिलेशन एक्चुअली सपोज वी हैव गिवेन रिलेशन दैट गोज फ्रॉम ए टू बी और कैन विथ सपोज इट इज गोइंग फ्रॉम ए टू ए इट इज द रिलेशन इज इन सेट ए एंड द सेट ए इज गिवेन एज वन टू एंड थ्री एंड द रिलेशन वी हैव गिवेन द रिलेशन वन कोमा टू वन कोमा थ्री टू कोमा थ्री टू कोमा वन थ्री कोमा वन थ्री कोमा टू एंड दैट्स इट एंड नाउ वी हैव टू चेक वेदर द रिलेशन इज सिमेट्रिक और नॉट इन सम क्वेश्चन यू हैव गिवेन दिस टाइप ऑफ रिलेशन एंड इन सम क्वेश्चन यू हैव गिवेन द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द रिलेशन इन सेट बिल्डर फॉर्म एंड यू हैव टू बिल्ड दिन और यू हैव टू फाइंड द रिलेशन हेयर वी हैव गिवेन दिस रिलेशन इन द क्वेश्चन एंड नाउ यू हैव टू चेक वेदर द रिलेशन इज सिमेट्रिक और नॉट सो By the definition, we can see if a one, a two present in the relation, then there should be a two a one. Means if one comma two is present in the relation, then there should be two comma one in the relation. So check for two comma one. One comma two is present and two comma one is also present in the relation. Now we'll check if one comma three is present in the relation. then 3 comma 1 is present or not we can see 3 comma 1 is also present in the relation when 1 comma 3 is in the relation now 2 comma 3 is present in the relation we will check whether 3 comma 2 is present or not 3 comma 2 is also present in the relation so we can see If two comma three is present, three comma two is present. If one comma two is present in the relation, two comma one is also same as one three three one. So for every a one, a two, there exist a two a one. So this is an example of symmetric relation. Now we have to discuss about discuss about what is transitive relation. Suppose we have given a relation that goes from a to b, and if A one comma A two present in our relation and A two comma A three is also present in relation. Then there should be A one and A three in our relations. You can easily see that A two A two A two A two is common in both these. And what is left? A one and A three means where the first ended. Second starts. First is ended at a two, and second is start at a two. And left element should be present in the relation. Here, what a one is left, and in the second a three is left. A one a three should be in our relation. Suppose we have given a relation that is that contains one comma two, two comma three. Four comma three, one comma three. From set A, this is relation in A to A set. And A has the element one, two, three, and four. Now we can see we have to find the element of these relations which are ending and starting with same. Means this is ending at two. so this is starting end at 2 so this is 2 and 2 are same so we should search for 1 and 3 easily we can find 1 and 3 is present in the relation so if 1 comma 2 is present in the relation same as it is ended at 2 so 2 comma 3 is also present in the relation and this implies that 1 and 3 is also present in the relation so this is a transitive relation now we'll discuss about equivalence relation a relation which is 
reflexive, symmetric as well as transitive is known as equivalence relation. To understand this, uh, we can take an example of NCRT that is we have given a set T which is a set of all triangles and relation is in set T. In set T means relation is from T to T. And the definition of the relation is relation contains T1, T2 where T1 is congruent to T2 means first triangle is congruent to the second triangle. Now we will check that whether the relation is equivalent or not. Suppose a triangle T which T1 which belongs to T. So there should be T1, T2 that will belong to the relation T1, T1 because every triangle is congruent to itself. Same as if I take Tn that belongs to this set T then there should be Tn, Tn in our relation because n means any, triang any triangle any triangle or any triangle so Tn, Tn will also belong in the relation because every triangle is congruent to itself so for any element which belongs to the set T there should be TT in our relation so this is an example of transitive sorry reflexive relation so this is reflexive now we will check it is symmetric or not suppose T1 and T2 present in relations means T1 is congruent to what is implies it implies that T1 is congruent to T2 because we have given T1 comma T2 is in the relations we can say that T2 will also be congruent to T1 means if T1 T2 belongs to the relation there will be T2 and T1 in the relation so it is symmetric because for all T1 T2 there should be T2 T1 now we will check whether it is transitive or not suppose in the relation we have given T1 T2 in the relation same as T2 T3 in the relation then we can say that if T1 is congruent to T2 and T2 is congruent to T3 then T1 T3 will also be congruent to each other means T1 T3 belongs to the relation so it is transitive so the relation is reflexive symmetric as well as transitive so it is an example of equivalence relation